Brad Lastuca is a grade 10 student at Catholic Central High. Today he's spending the afternoon learning how to program a robot. Uh, right now I am programming the robot to grab um, one of these uh, blocks and put it into a certain destination and then it will um, clamp it for a couple seconds and when it's done the robot will come pick it up and uh, move it into the finished place bin and then it'll go back uh, to the home place and repeat the cycle over. Robotics is just one area of study for students in Devin Mulder's pre-engineering class at the West Campus. It's the first year of a program that teaches an impressive range of engineering concepts and applications. Yeah, they're going to learn about ACDC electrical, they're going to learn about electrical control and circuits, they're going to learn about robotics because they have to use a robotic program, they're going to learn a CAD program called SOLIDWORKS, which is the design aspect of it, they're going to learn mechanical engineering, um, and they'll go a little bit just into the civil type engineering part of it as well, but just a broad range of different skills. The students learn on these state-of-the-art training modules, picking up skills and knowledge, eventually putting everything they've learned into building a final project, a pneumatic and electrical can crusher. So essentially we have the can crusher here and the electrical work for it right now. Earlier on we designed this system on a board over there and uh, so when you hit the green button, this cylinder is going to extend, crush the cans and then go back and then you're going to have this cylinder right here, push the can into the garbage chute. Pre-engineering has proven to be a popular option class, appealing to students for a variety of reasons. Going into university next year, I am going into an engineering program at Carleton University in Ottawa. And so there I will be taking engineering and architecture and just to have the opportunity to take this program in high school, I thought why not if it's going to help me at all next year. We chose to uh, make it more of an all-encompassing course. Uh, we didn't want to limit uh, the students to elite academic intensive type math physics based students for the course. So anyone can take the course and we can go as detailed into certain uh, areas as we'd like or we can scale it down, limit the amount of math physics involved and just focus on the hands on so that any student can kind of utilize this lab and the equipment. So. Well, what I like about it is you get to choose what kind of engineering you want to look at or learn about. And I took it because I thought it would be a fun class and my dad's an engineer, so maybe learn more about what he does. We learned a lot of hands-on hands -on skills, um, stuff that's going to help us in real life and uh, just how stuff really works. Usually, a course like this is offered in a vocational or technical institute rarely in a high school. For these students, it's a class whose time has come, providing them with a new and exciting education opportunity. Yeah, very actually. It's, it's great and it has a lot of diversity, so kids are very fortunate to have this lab.